for one still with us here on the Sea Morning Show. It's time for another discussion uh, of the day. The Indonesian Stock Exchange has evaluated the IDX ESG Leaders Index, where the shares of PT Dayamitra Telekomunikasi or Mitratel are included in the list of new members of the IDX ESG Leaders Index, which has taken effect uh, this past September the 21st. To learn more about uh, Mitra Tel, joining us today is Mitra Tel Chief Investment Officer, Bapak Hendra Purnama. Good morning, Pak. Good morning, Pak Hendra. Thank you for joining us. Okay, first of all, uh, Mitra Tel is known as a communication infrastructure provider. What are the examples of uh, these infrastructures, Pak? Okay. Well, infrastructure company, especially for Mitra Tel, mm -hmm. uh, you can see from the telco point of view. Mm -hmm. So we provide power as our basic and main business, uh, which can be used for many tower operator, uh, sorry, mobile operator. Right. Uh, we also provide fiber optic. Uh, fiber optic is actually the connection uh, for, our, for most of the mobile operator. Mm -hmm. And also we provide satellite connection. So mm -hmm. any business that it within uh, tower ecosystem, we basically uh, provide those, basically the infrastructure that okay. we have. All right, so um, the most recent update is that the IDX ESG is, is the index company that has performed well in terms of not just environmental, but social and governance as well. Uh, can you elaborate how Mitratel has was able to reach this point? Okay, so ESG start with the environment. Okay. So first of all, we are not a company that uh, producing or uh, mainly producing carbon. Mm. We basically provide the tower and all of the infrastructure that is needed, uh, which is not carbon uh, producing. Right. Uh, on top of that, we do have about 1,200 tower that located off grid. Mm. Off grid means no electricity, no PLN. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, on that situation, we provide alternative. Uh, mainly, we use solar panel. Wow. Oh. Okay. So we have about 615 solar panel out of the 1,200. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we are now working together with uh, many partners and vendor mm -hmm. to actually improve the solar panel. Okay. So uh, that's one on the environment. Mm -hmm. On the social, we are very active in uh, contributing to the community. Our tower located all over Indonesia. Oh wow! So okay. then we are basically contributing to the community, community uh, in that area. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, there's a village. Mm -hmm. uh, no, uh, most likely in the east of Indonesia. Oh, like a remote area. Yeah, it's in the okay. remote area. They don't have connection. They are very oh, isolated. Okay. Once we build the tower, then the mobile operator can install equipment over there. Right. We use solar panel as the energy, and we use satellite. Mm -hmm. as the connection, okay. then that uh, village basically can enjoy communication, either oh. voice or even data. Okay. And this, this leads into, like for example, MSMEs that would like to have on, their business be online. Exactly. Yes. So they're able to be connected. Yes, yes. yes. or, or uh, school at home. School yes. from yes. home yes. during yes. the Especially. pandemic. That's very beneficial yes. for yes. people to get uh, information through uh, using the internet, of yes. course. Yes. Yes. So, uh, but how is the company's uh, uh, progress in implementing ESG principles? Well, we basically uh, following all of the uh, guidance, either is from the uh, government, either from the OJK, so, and in term, on top of that, we also uh, try to work together with some uh, advisor and consultant. So we see that ESG is something important that we think that is one of the priority in our program. So we try to implement those, uh, including training for all of the employee, okay. make them understand what is ESG because most of the people is not considering ESG as a one of the yeah. priority program. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of education, mm -hmm. not only in the management level, but the whole staff in uh, Mitratel. Oh, okay. Could you explain a little bit about the G part of it, the governance? What is okay. the governance part of it? Government, uh, because Mitratel just listed a year ago okay. on the 22nd of November. Mm -hmm. So it's actually the milestone where we need to comply not only to the uh, government regulation but also capital market. Mm -hmm. oh. So then we are need to have a transparent disclosure mm -hmm. and on top of that we do has, have SWF as the anchor investor. Okay. So uh, 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 ESG is like a paramount for them. Mm -hmm. So then we need to comply and according with uh, the uh, 
uh, disclosure and all the reg regulation, not only in Indonesia but in the region. Oh, okay. good, go good governance, good governance, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about um, this current day and age. Everyone's talking about <laughs> gas prices are going up right. yeah. or elect inflation. electricity. Oh. And now, yes, obviously inflation is the one of the biggest topics. Um, yeah. uh, interest rates and U.S. dollars are increasing. Yeah. How is uh, Mitratel uh, anticipating and dealing with this situation? Okay, so in terms of the inflation, basically it's related with cost of fund also. Mm -hmm. So if we see from the cost of fund, we do have a, a loan that is floating. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the number of loan that we have, it's quite, quite small. Okay. At the current time, our net debt to EBITDA roughly about 1.5, 1.6 uh, times. Okay. So it's very small compared to the most of company is above uh, four times mm -hmm. oh, wow. okay so then the increase in the uh, pricing for uh, loan or uh, leverage is not that significant right. to us. Mm -hmm. inflation of course make the operation because we do need to maintain close to 35,000 tower that we wow. have that's a, that's the total that's number <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot okay. yes so then uh, but then we can pass through the cost to our client Mm. Right. Because about 20% uh, of the cost is actually pledged to CPI. Then when the inflation is increased, then we can, uh, we can uh, convey the cost uh, right. for the cost to, okay. to the client. Okay. Well, and we don't have any forex exposure. Oh. Our revenue, 100% rupiah. Uh -huh. Our cost, 100% rupiah. Wow. That's why our loan is 100% rupiah. Wow. So we are not exposed to the forex. So that part, the volatility of that market doesn't really affect Mitra Tal. That's correct. That's nice. good. Nice. Since we know, now we know that Mitra Tal has a very important roles in Indonesia, specifically in internet and technology providing. Um, what is next for Mitra Tal? Is there any um, uh, new project in the works or uh, will you look for uh, new invent, uh, in, investors? Okay. So, in terms of the product, uh, just a year ago, mm -hmm. we are only focused in tower. Mm. We are entered into fiber optic just, I think, early uh, first quarter this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why we go to uh, fiber optic? Because 5G is coming. Yeah. And uh, in the old days, uh, usually, the mobile operate, operator use uh, microwave mm -hmm. as the connection from the BTS as connection to the uh, backbone. Now, with the 5G, the microwave is not sufficient because right. the bandwidth is limited Correct. and the, uh, the, uh, the speed is also limited. Mm -hmm. But then, using the uh, fiber optic, then the latency becomes so low and then the bandwidth becomes uh, so high. Wider. So, then that's the only alternative for 5G to work. Okay. Oh. So that's why we are focused in building the uh, uh, fiber optic. Okay. Uh, as of now, start from zero. Now we have about close to 9,000 mm -hmm. uh, kilometer mm -hmm. of fiber optic. Mm -hmm. wow. And next year, we are planning to be more aggressive to build the fiber optic to the tower. Right. Okay. Wow. Uh, on top of that, I uh, did mention that we are basically covered the whole Indonesia. Some remote area in yeah. the island mm -hmm. where microwave is also not possible. Mm -hmm. Fiber optic definitely is more difficult. Mm -hmm. Right. So then we use satellite. Yes. Oh, so okay. wow. we work together uh, in this case with uh, Telkomsat. Mm -hmm. okay. So we use uh, low orbit satellite mm -hmm. to actually connect from the BTS then uh, to using satellite and then go to the backbone. I've wow. heard of this because uh, Elon Musk was sending up a bunch of new satellites to replace yes. the yeah, old ones yeah. for this particular purpose, just to make oh, room for more okay. 5G over in the United States. And so America basically, we are well. doing it as well for yes. Indonesia. Yes, we oh, are. Amazing. We are actually work together with uh, Telkomsat, oh. which they have the exclusive right for Starlink. Okay. Wow. Which is uh, uh, Elon Musk. What? Uh, oh, okay. Wow. So, how, so this is going to be over the next couple of years then? Well, it's actually already started. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So we do have a pilot project. Yes. Okay. And we already offer this product to our uh, client, which is the mobile operator. Right. Oh, so okay. whenever they want an area that want to be covered by Five. connection, uh -huh. either it's a voice or data, mm -hmm. anywhere in Indonesia, 
we can. Wow. Okay. So we can say that we are so ready for the 5G technology. Yes. I, I love 5G. And by the way. Exactly. <laughs> and yes. And we now get it sometimes, we right? Are, exactly. We got the 5G sometimes, but really? not everyone not is everywhere. having it. Yes. But now we can say that Indonesia is ready to be connected through yeah. internet and get more information yes. from yes, this correct. technology. Amazing. Amazing, Thank you amazing so much job. for your time, Fahendra. We really do appreciate this uh, update on Mitratel. We wish you, I mean, this past year has been very fast acceleration for yes. Mitratel. <laughs> so we hope that that upward trend continues as well. Thank you. Thank All you right. for coming. Have a good day, Pa. You. See you. Thank you. All right, we're up for another short break. In the meantime, don't forget to follow our social media accounts. If you haven't already, we're on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Today News. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.